Impossible skill checks, Doc. Guaranteed to be the most annoying perk build you can ever run, ever. Especially on the game. If you don't know what impossible chill, impossible skill checks, impossible skill checks Doc is, then you've been living under a rock. What it basically consists of is everything that makes skill checks harder, at the same time as being on the smallest map with a giant terror radius to always have them be affected by unnerving presence. And since Huntress Lullaby is a hex totem and we're going to the game, it's gonna be a little bit harder to find this hex totem, which makes it nice. But what we got here is we got distressing, making my terror radius 26% larger and also getting 100% more blood points and deviousness. Then we got unnerving presence, so they trigger skill checks 10% greater in my terror radius and also the skill check zones are 60% decreased. We got overcharge, which tremendously increases the difficulty of the skill check and if they miss it, they regress the generator by 5% and this also goes with unnerving presence and makes the skill check smaller for overcharge. And then we got Huntress Lullaby, so every single token that I get makes the sound of the skill check less and less, all the way up to five tokens where there's no skill check warning. And if they miss the skill check, then they regress the generator by 6%. So both of these regressings with the Overcharge and the Huntress Lullaby stack, so it goes up to 11% if they miss an Overcharge skill check. And then for add-ons, we got Calm Carter's Note, which considerably increases my tear radius in treatment and considerably decreases it in punishment so when I walk around in treatment mode they're always going to be hit by my by my uh, terror radius especially in the game and then we got order Carter notes which increases the madness from my static field which is just I'm not shocking just me sitting there with the treatment mode on and then I get illusionary pallets from this Carter notes and then we're gonna go for the game as an offering and we're going to see if we can get some potatoes. And I usually always do with this build. It's hectic. See, the thing about this, we had a last second switch to a toolbox, so I'm guessing he probably had a brand new part on it. But it's going to be hard to hit those brand new part skill checks. They're going to have fun with that. Ooh, I hit him as he dropped, so he got that little stagger. I'm not gonna switch yet. I'm gonna try and catch this guy. That dead hard into the vault you almost got it there too as long as my my huntress lullaby lasts everything will be good and they're already missing skill checks so what we do is we we just run right to the next ones we don't even worry about how the hell do I get over there I don't even, like, they're, they're flying through these generators. But all I gotta do is keep, why is there no freaking hooks over here? All I gotta do is keep these generators in close proximity to each other and everything should be good.
go check on this guy. Okay. Go down him. Throw him back on the hook. We got a lot of pressure right now. We got another token. See if we can get this guy also. All right, let's head back to the other guy, throw him on the hook. Alright, we got this guy now. We have a lot of pressure. They're not gonna be able to do a lot with goddamn five tokens and me being impossible skill checks doc. How's it going? So we got five tokens now. So if they, if they don't find that totem, they're completely screwed. And we also got one dead. Now we go around and just smack generators while we're doing this. Oh, he's trying to get a heal off. Was that a heal? is the uh, decisive guy. So with five tokens and unnerving presence, if he hits the skill check, I will be surely impressed. They're having a really hard time with these skill checks. But I'm wasting all the pallets, so this is good for me. Oh shit, I should have just smacked through that. You're gonna have a fun time hitting this. Oh, you're not even gonna hit it anyway. I'm gonna have you before you can get it. I am impressed. 
I wanted to waste it. I am impressed that he actually hit that skill check. But now that he's wasted it, it just makes it a lot harder. There's not a lot of pallets left. Throw him up on this hook. We'll get this guy. Since you got absolutely no generators left. Or are no pallets left except for that one. And now we go find this guy. Because no one's getting a hatch. This map has so many goddamn lockers. <laughs> Woo! And that's how you do it. You just search every goddamn locker that there is. If he gets the hatch, no, he's upstairs. Can't get the hatch. This is like the perfect outcome of impossible skill checks. Five tokens, gen or totem still up. Decent three gen, not amazing. Like these two are pretty nice. Where are they? These two, but that one's all the way across the map. But that one's also next to my totem. Pretty good. When I play doctor, no one gets no one gets the the, the hatch. It's not happening. So I had to go spend all of my blood points that I got just so I can get more game offerings because someone used a Macmillan at the same time that I used my game offering, which kind of annoyed me. And it, you, you can guess where it decided to go. And if you can't guess where it decided to go, it decided to go to the Macmillan, by the way, just letting you know. This is actually a really decent spot for the totem. It's not as good as some other spots in this map, but it's still a really decent spot for the totem. As long as someone doesn't decide to go that way. <laughs> right now 
All right, he went around it, so that's good. He's upstairs. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm hoping I can get this guy down before they get that first generator done. Because if I can't, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Or you can go throw down every single pallet for me. I won't mind that either. Because then at least it'll help me. If he wants to go throw down every single pallet for me, I won't mind that. Oh, the dead hard. You weren't going to get me on that one. Do you have tenacity? Do you honestly have tenacity on? All right. I don't mind that either. At least I know that you have dead hard and tenacity on. Really? Nah. I'll get as many tokens as I can, as fast as I can, in order to get this build to work properly. There's a guy back here, because he just tapped that. I can get this guy. So we got two other guys down along with that guy. I don't think that this they're going to be able to get everyone up. And I don't even think this other guy's around to get this guy off the hook. This might be a really fast game. Hi, right, how's it going? So I got everyone hurt so far. Is this guy gonna go save him with his borrow time? Is the question. I'm gonna go after this guy. No, he's back down. And he's also, uh. Nope, now you need to die. Because you know where my totem is, and that's not okay. I need stairs. I need now I need a drop down. Was that him over there? It was him over there. Fuck. It's okay, I got this guy. Ah! 
He decided to kill himself. He knew where my my totem was, so that's actually really good. No one else knows where my totem is. But to be totally honest, I wouldn't want to play this either. <laughs> I got five tokens, so... This other guy's gonna have a really hard time either getting that last generator or... Going for the save. One of the two. He might even be hiding in a locker. You never know. There it is. If they want to do anything with this, they got to get that last generator. He's right above me, isn't No, he's right here. Where did he go? <laughs> no! I won fair and square. <laughs> You're not getting them off the hook. The most annoying build in the most annoying map. <laughs> and I won... Fair and square. Let's go ahead and kick this. Five tokens. That's all you can really wish for in this map is five tokens. Or for your totem to stay up the entire game. There's also that. Are none of these other generators even touched? Nope, that's the only generator that's touched. Interesting. We had a really decently long game, and then we had a really short game. Shortish. It was, yeah, it was pretty short. And we got a good totem spot. No one really runs through here unless they're getting chased. So there's no reason to run through here unless you're getting chased. I actually didn't even know there was a totem spot in there. And I play this map enough. Decent. I like it. I like it a lot. Good game, boys. Oh, my name's back to Monto because of uh, something I was doing earlier today. Can't really tell you guys. On the 8th, you'll know. But I can't really tell you guys right now. Yeah. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. Girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D. Born and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. Girl, you don't know about me so get off my fucking deal